Hello, and it's Mr. Speck here today with another video. You might be wondering why I'm doing a really bad British accent, and that's because today our video is going to be themed for the Kingsman Secret Service. Yes, we are doing a very good video. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be making the Kingsman Shoe Knife, the knife that when you click your heels together, this knife pops out. And I actually got inspiration by this because I was looking through my closet, I found these old dress shoes that I have, and I was like, I should make put a knife in these. Now, of course, it's not going to be a real knife because I'm not sure what the laws are for having a shoe knife, spring loaded shoe knife, so it's going to be 3D printed. Everything is going to be 3D printed. In order to 3D print it, I need to design a cat. In order to design a cat, I just need to design a cat. But I want you guys to see how I designed the cat. So let's go to the computer right now. So I noticed that my audience retention rate was dropping out about the time that I started explaining stuff, and that's understandable, the stuff is the most interesting. So my solution to make this a little less boring is to make this faster, I'll get right to the point. So you could skip to this time right here, or you could give me a minute and 30 seconds to explain everything you need to know. I started off in CAD, so basically what I did is I took a picture of the bottom of the shoe, and I uploaded the fusion, then I traced the outline, and scaled it up to the right size, and because the shoe has this little uh, curvature right here, I put in that curvature right there on the shoe, which means that it's still it's able to adapt to the shape of the shoe, but it's still flat on the ground, so the knife can slide in easily. Here's the heel part, right here. Uh, that's not really important. The next thing I did was to download it from Fusion and upload it into Tinkercad because I'm better at using Tinkercad than Fusion 360. And what I did is I modeled up the knife part by putting the slide right here into the shoe so the knife able to slide out. The knife fits through that little hole right there. That's the knife slide. Uh, and then there's this little interlocking mechanism so the springs go in that hole right there. And then basically there's a pin that slides in and it's able to slide in and out freely of this. So the thing springs forward because there's springs in here. Then this is all glued to the bottom of the shoe and that's it. That's all you need to know. So right now I'm just 3D printing out the parts uh, for the shoe sole. So we've got our piece printed out, and we've got the blade printed out, now to see how uh, long the blade is. What? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me! Ugh. Why? Just why? Well, I tried. It didn't really turn out how I wanted it to, so I guess this is the end of the video. I'm just kidding. Hitting. This is not the end of the video. I'm still gonna finish this project. It's not a very big deal and it didn't turn out I wanted it to but it's still fine. Now I can't reprint it because I've used all my filament so uh, maybe in the future I'll redo it but not this video. I'm just gonna keep how it is. Anyway back to the topic at hand. So right now I need to take the sole off the shoe so I can glue on the uh, bottom. Alright, so now that we've gotten the uh, sole taken off of the shoe, the shoe, the shoe, oh there it is, I need to put on, I need to glue on the uh, 3D printed soles. Before that I would like to show you how the locking mechanism works. So uh, this is the, um, the knife part, and then here's the pin, so as you can see it's a button, we have a spring there, and then we have this little 3D printed piece. The 3D printed piece fits in there right there and you can't move it up or down but when you push it in you can move it up and down and it locks back in place uh the spring is just to push the button back out so when you push the button in it pushes this out the spring pushes the knife forward and then it springs back into place because this spring pushes it back and so it locks in the outer position and then when you want to push the knife back in you apply pressure to the knife you push the button the thing slides back and locks back into place and then this is uh in the heel that's how the knife functions basically Now it is time to glue the shoe.
Okay, now that all the glue is on, I just need to let it dry for a couple hours, and then it'll be done. Hey, they're done. We've got our shoe. We've got our button right there. When you press the button, out pops the knife, and then it locks in place. You don't need to wear a tuxedo. It doesn't need to be worth with a tuxedo, and a, you know I don't have one. Uh, anyway, but they go perfectly just with some casual, some casual outfit. I mean, nicer casual. You're not gonna wear it with shorts and a t-shirt, but they they look pretty nice with anything. From a glance, they would probably look the same to me and everything. If you were to look at them closer, you'd notice that this one's different. But anyway, but if you click your heels together, so the knife pops out, it's locked in place and you can use it for up close battle. Just for a small demonstration, just to prove that the knife is kind of still sharp. I have a uh, cardboard box here because we like testing on cardboard boxes. It did penetrate through right there. So it is pretty sharp. Ish. Once again, thank you for watching till the end. This is a really fun project. I really love these things and I am going to be revisiting this thing. Some changes that I'm going to be making is making it so the bottom of the foot is kind of curved more, so it's easier to walk. I'm going to make the shoes themselves black, so they're more accurate to the movie Kingsman. And I'm also going to make the knife blade a little bit longer. Now, don't build these at home. I mean, this one's not very dangerous because it's 3D printed. I still wouldn't recommend making it. I'm making it so you don't have to. My advice is don't make them. Especially don't make them with the real knife because that's really dangerous. Also, next week is the exoskeleton reveal. The part finally came that I was waiting for. I feel sorry it took so long. I was waiting for that one part to come for like a month. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.